a while ago I did a video about adding aeration to the two gallon Kratky buckets and then recently I did a video about using uh, airlift pumps in a deep water culture to provide aeration and nutrient circulation so one idea leads to another and here's the next thing for the Kratky buckets this consists of a six inch air line terminated by an air stone going into a three quarter inch pipe six inches long and this pipe is the pump and it has this notch on the bottom in order to allow nutrient solution to come in through the bottom and then flow out through the top. In the previous version I used the stiff kind of drip irrigation hose ten and a half inches long that was kind of tight so in this particular installation the hoses between the T's are basically in this design the hoses between the T's are 13 inches long to give me some extra room as you'll see in the next clip when I install these I'm going to use a little zip tie a little 4 inch zip tie to hold those things right at the lip of the bucket uh, what I found is that what I found is that this PVC pipe does sink so with these things connected to the top of the bucket and the stone at the end of the hose inside the pump tube these things will work just fine one thing to remember is that air pressure at sea level is about 14 pounds per square inch so that when you do something like this you're going to get a big assist from the air pressure pushing down on the surface of that bucket which is about nine inches in diameter going into a three quarter inch pipe diameter I made this kind of change on the DWC because the airlift pumps were too noisy and I now have a four inch air stone coming up through a one and a half inch PVC pipe about seven inches long and it is really boiling away in there so I'm really looking forward to the effect that this will have on the plants So I'm going to show you how I made the airlift pump for these totes. Inside the pump is this 4 inch air stone and I needed a bigger pipe to accommodate this stone. So I had this one and a half inch ABS pipe laying around. Cut a piece about 7 inches long. I had these angle braces inside uh, my junk box so I pulled those out now drilled some pilot holes and then put these sheet metal screws in there to hold it all together so that just goes in like that and that goes like that I want to mention you know the gap on the bottom here it provides the inlet for the water you see that it provides a very vigorous circulation for this particular system so you see how this goes together you've got the feed line being held in place by a small zip tie that goes down into the PVC pipe which is held in position by the stone at the end you can see that uh, when this starts to run uh, water and bubbles will come to the surface pretty uh, dramatically okay so here's the airlift pump in operation this one has the top fairly close to the surface. There's one next to it that has more water in the bucket. It's not flowing as strongly so I may have to adjust the length of that. And I may have to do some other tweaks like drilling a hole in the pump body and using a zip tie to keep these things connected the way I want them to be. Okay so the last tweak on this thing was to take the pump and move it into the middle of the set of buckets here. Uh, the longer the air lines are, the more you lose to resistance from the lines. This 100 gallon pump has two outlets, so at this point in time, each of those outlets is feeding three of the buckets. 